has already made big progress modernizing transportation for Illinois residents, and it has set the stage for so much more. IDOT, local governments, and labor leaders across Illinois have worked together and have already improved over 2,700 miles of state and local roadways in under two years. Cutting down commute times, saving drivers money on car repairs, making Illinois more attractive for manufacturers and distributors to locate here, and giving families an easier journey each and every day. And it's not just roads. Across Illinois, we're improving 290 bridges. We've done that so far, 290 bridges like the work done at the Murray Baker Bridge carrying I-74 in Peoria, uh, which reopened for use last fall. Not to mention the billions of dollars that Rebuild Illinois dedicates to broadband, to schools, to airports, river ports, state parks, healthcare institutions, and innovation hubs. And in every project, we've made hundreds of safety improvements along the way, enhancing right-of-way accessibility, funding railroad crossing safety improvements, and targeting locations tied to crashes to keep everyone as safe as possible along their travels. Right now, union tradespeople across the state are hard at work extending our state's leadership as a multimodal network hub for national and regional travel and freight movement, all while creating hundreds of thousands of good jobs in every part of Illinois. That includes a $173 million multi-year investment in Southern Illinois' I-57, continuing next year and running in segments through 2027. We're putting over $90 million worth of improvements into I-55 and $40 million into I-80 in northeastern Illinois, making the roads smoother and safer amidst the region's exploding intermodal logistical growth. And here in Springfield, I-55 south toward Divernon is fully open again after $15 million of repairs and another $20 million in improvements to US-51 from Decatur to Shelby County will wrap up later this year. With all that's been built over the last two years, even through a global pandemic, today we are announcing the new multi-year plan for the next six years that will reconstruct over 2,700 more miles of roads and nearly 8 million square feet of bridges. In local projects, we're investing in hundreds of miles and over 1 million square feet of bridge deck. And of course, the projects in this MYP will continue to create and support hundreds of thousands of jobs for hardworking Illinoisans across our state, bolstering our pandemic recovery in yet one more way. This past year truly has brought home how important transportation systems are connecting the lives of our residents and our communities, delivering food products to grocery stores, getting essential workers to their jobs, and transporting patients to the hospital. That's equally true when it comes to setting forth a robust recovery for this pandemic, getting remote workers back to the office, expanding job opportunities for our hotel and hospitality and recreation workers, encouraging businesses to invest here in Illinois, and of course, attracting visitors to hit the road for a great American road trip, the centerpiece of Illinois' new Time For Me To Drive tourism campaign. And in the spirit of delivering a robust accessibility, accessible recovery to cities and towns across the state, I'm very proud to announce that 100% normal Amtrak service will fully resume in Illinois on July 19th, two months from today. Over the next few weeks, Amtrak will bring back its full long distance interstate service and the first of our state-sponsored services, the Chicago to Milwaukee partnership with Wisconsin, will be restored next week. And in mid-July, the three routes connecting Chicago and Quincy, Chicago and Carbondale, Chicago and St. Louis, which stops right here in Springfield, will join their counterparts in running at full capacity. Tickets go live this week. 
This increased capacity will make it even easier for Illinoisans and out-of-staters alike to explore all that our state has to offer, supporting small businesses and small towns and their economies at stops along the way. My administration recognizes the value of these routes, which is why Rebuild Illinois dedicates over $1 billion to rail, including reestablishing routes between Chicago and Rockford, as well as the Quad Cities. Planes, trains, automobiles, and even barges. Rebuild Illinois is, of course, about infrastructure, but even more than that, it's about investing in our future supporting this generation and the next, making sure that we have good jobs and roads to get where we're going, and building a state where opportunity is just around the corner for everyone, no matter where you're standing. We've got so much more that we need to build back from our COVID-19 crisis and everything before that too. But thanks to Rebuild Illinois and the people who are standing with us today, we're well on our way. Thank you, and with that, I'd like to turn it over to a real leader, a real partner in the General Assembly, the Senate Transportation Committee Chair, Ram Villavalam. Ram? 